Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play for the Naked Gaming Channel, Mega Man 4 for the NES. And of course this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this is one of the earliest Let's Plays that I've done in the past, I think it was back in October. But anyways, I got started. And I didn't get to read part of the first story, but you know, they were talking about the end of Mega Man 3, and everyone's going back to peace. And then all of a sudden there's another rampage, but believe it or not, it's not caused by Dr. Wily. Or so you would think. It's actually caused by a new scientist. Unfortunately, it's not be as what you think it is. So yeah, we just watch the city get blown up as usual, and Mega Man's gonna get thrust back into action with a very shitty fashion sense. Yeah, who wears pink underwear these days with blue hair? And look at those boots, they look like clown shoes. Oh, oh, I, I'm a boy! Oh my god, yay! And so apparently the new enemy we gotta deal with is Dr. Kasik, who has some kind of Russian culture or something, but we'll see that later. But yeah, in this game, Mega Man gets a new weapon, the Charge Shot. Yeah, this is where it debuted. It was in Mega Man 4, where you can finally charge your shot. And yeah, Rush will be back, and you know, you get some new power-ups that you gotta find in some levels. But yeah, Mega Man 4 was quite revolutionary. Not the best one, in my opinion. It had to be 2 or 3. But hey, 4 was pretty good, too. As usual, we'll start with Toad Man. It's always Toad Man that gotta go first. Always Toad Man. Poor bastard. If only he didn't suck. Hey, extra life right off the bat. It's great start. Damn penguins or birds. Penguins don't really fly. But they sure like to dive bomb or something. Yeah, they look more like birds. You gotta be careful on Toad Man's stage because when you're in mid-air, you actually get pushed back by the wind. So make sure you get a good amount of distance in your jump before you attempt to cross a pitfall. Because normally you'd be able to clear it, but since there's wind, you might have to make that extra step. But I mean, that's okay, you should have more than enough to be able to clear without falling to your doom. Provided you played a lot of Mega Man games. Alright, let's just keep going. Did I not extra life on that? I don't think so. I think that was a weapon power up. Or weapon refill, whatever you want to call it. I didn't really need it, therefore I didn't have any new weapons. I didn't even use Rush Coal, so what's the point? Oh, great mini boss. This one either likes to lob bombs at you, or its own eyes. Yeah, it can't decide whether to use its bombs or its own eyeballs, and apparently not just now it uses eyes. That's a very strange choice of weapons, to say the least. Um, do I want to use the bombs that pop out of my shell? Or the very organs that I use to see. Tough choices. Now I gotta fight it again, only this time with water and a couple pitfalls. So be careful. No, 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 that was close. Okay, I think one more charge shot should do it. Damn, you were. Don't oh, call me right now, time out. Okay, I'm back. That wasn't even for me. Apparently, the neighbors next door weren't home, and there was supposed to be some kind of delivery. So, the mailman decided to ring my number instead. Just to get in, but that, that's cool. I don't mind. Just gotta help people out. Okay, now I'm gonna do it this way. That's a stupid fish. Okay, good. I did not fall into the spice. Could use some more health. I'm running low. Oh, my prayers have been answered. All 
Alright, time to take on Toadman, who is the hardest map the hardest robot master in every single game. I almost called him Maverick, too. I'm getting a little memory lapse. Yeah, this is what he does. He does that Ereki Iglesias dance while trying to do the rain flush. And I actually got hit by Toad Man. Wow, I actually got hit by Toad Man. I should jump off the bridge and kill myself right now because if you get hit by taking on Toad Man, you do not deserve to live at all. But yeah, when he does that pelvic thrust or gyration something, he's going to create a rain flush which will damage you no matter where you're standing. But if you shoot him, you'll take him off that, and you'll start jumping around, you slide under him, and then keep shooting. Yeah, hey, it could've been worse. I could've got killed in this battle. I mean, thank god we didn't get that low. But to be fair, he kinda did throw me off by not jumping right away. There, now I got the rain flush. Oh, I got a new rush part too. It's rush Marine at that door. Ah, oh, cool, thanks. I probably won't be using it until I get to Dive Man stage. Who's next? Oh, yeah, Bright Man. He's not too bright. Look at his eyes. Deep! Okay, his stage can be quite annoying if you're not careful. So, I mean, you gotta deal with these enemies, which are responsible for the light. If you kill them, the stage is gonna turn completely dark. You have to kill these green enemies to get the light back on. It'd be alright to kill these enemies, just don't do it when you know there's a pitfall nearby. Like this. The shit like this is gonna happen. Here we go. Oh, man. So be sure to gauge where you're standing and where you plan to shoot these enemies accordingly, or you're going to be screwed. Oh no, you're not leaving me! Thank you. Okay. Ah, it's these enemies. You're going to see plenty of those, unfortunately. There we go. Rush Coil is still pretty effective. He hits an all-new low in Mega Man 5, and it's really a trampoline attached to his dick. That was a very bad rush coil in Mega Man 5. That was a terrible idea. Thank God they had that change in future Mega Man games. Like in Mega Man 7, 9, and 10. They didn't have the rush coil in Mega Man 8. They just had him as a rush aid. And that was pretty useless in itself. He should have stuck to being a rush coil and a rush jet. Yeah, that, that's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. I don't even know why I need to charge my shot. There's no enemies here. Yay, E-Tank and an extra life. What I have to do is use the rush coil because I am not going to attempt these jumps. Trust me, there's just no way I'm going to try that. There. It cost me a fair amount of rush coil, but I don't think I'm going to need to use it for the rest of the level. Besides, I got an E-Tank and an extra life, because it was worth it. Alright, time to do these jumps again. Okay, that was a bit weird. There we go. That was close. Oh, damn it. Whoa, that was close. Almost under jump there. Eh, nah, I don't think we're gonna get any more rush coil. Like I said, I'm not gonna need it for the rest of the level. Okay. I think I'm going to do a save here because this part could piss you off to no end. Whoa! See? That's what can happen. Because I am not going all the way back to the checkpoint, so I can tell you that much right now. It's just not going to happen. Not my his house. 
be able to kill that one. That's no big deal. Alright, now I'm at Bright Man stage. He ain't too bright. Wait, I already said that already. Okay, I'm gonna flush him out for the rain flush. Even if you use it, you got a pretty good chance of getting hit. Because Bright Man is quite unpredictable at times. Especially when he uses the Flash Stopper. When you get Flash Stopped, you've pretty much got no chance of evasive action. Like, you're just stuck, and he's gonna jump into you pretty much like a 10 out of 10 chance of being hit. And I better... Can I survive that shot? Oh, yes, I can. It was a gamble, but it paid off. Look at that, only two bars of health. Holy shit, I got lucky. Alright, time to get the Flash Stopper. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna like the color Mega Man's in. Eh, it's not too bad. That there's an unfortunate stigma with purple or whatever that color is, probably close to lavender. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here. Next part, we're going to take on Feral Man. Alright, goodbye everyone.